you know, this is a this is an amazing time that we live in right now. I'm the real world prepper. Thanks for joining me today. So we're in a time right now in in our life and our history with technology where I can get on here, speak to you guys, and gals, and uh, share my opinions, whatever they are, you know, social media, this platform and others. It's amazing, free speech, right? We're able to do it, aren't we? You know, when we can't trust what the mainstream has to say, uh, or we at least have questions about what the mainstream has to say and we want to find out for ourselves, we can go on to platforms like this and we can assess what it is we're hearing, what it is we're seeing, what it is other people are saying versus what the mainstream parroting blah 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 is. But know that this thing was also designed specifically it wasn't really designed, these social media platforms, this one and others. It wasn't really designed for that purpose. I mean, in a way it was, but it was to see what we would say, to see what we would do, to see what we would share, and to put a mark on that. To watch what we do, to watch what we say, to see who we talk to, who we follow, what we're into, what our interests are, what our opinions are. It's a big spy net. You guys probably know this, many of you, I'm sure. But there's absolute truth to it. So, so when you come onto these platforms, you, you, you have zero anonymity. You, there is no, uh, you know, well, now I get to say this over here where these people are watching and the powers that be are not watching. Bullshit. They're, that's exactly what they're doing. That's why these platforms were put up. <clears throat> and I'm okay with that. I knew that going into this. I'm okay with that, and the reason I'm okay with that is because some of us are called to share these truths, to share information as we know it, to share our opinions on things that are going on. That's why I'm here. That's why I do what I do. There is zero anonymity in this world. You walk around with these phones, you walk around, you, 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 your house is full of uh, smart devices, TVs, and Alexas, and uh, uh, Siri, and whatever they all are, Echo and all that stuff. And like I say, even your TVs and appliances and, and things. I mean, there's, and there's cameras everywhere in the cities. There's uh, microphones everywhere. You're being watched and monitored everywhere you go. Uh, those that want to and have the power to can track you wherever you go. They know who you're associating with. They know what you're saying. They know what you're about. They know the type of people that you're associating with. They know what they're about. They know what their families are about. They know where you live. They know what you got. They know what you buy. And all the like. Everything along with it. So why am I talking about this? I believe that now is the time for us to not be timid. Now is the time for us not to be hiding now is the time for us to be screaming from the mountaintops about who we are hopefully in christ as as i that's what that's what i'm screaming from the mountaintops and hopefully you are too that we are christian if we are if you are but even if you're not if you're a patriot if you believe in what this country was founded on if you believe in the fact that your, your freedoms and your liberties and your rights were given to you, not by a government entity, right? They're not given to you by your government. Your government is set up to protect those rights that are given to you by God Almighty. As a human born onto this earth, you have those rights. You have the right to live free. You have the right uh, uh, to pursue uh, happiness and well-being. You have the right to work. You have the right to live. You have the right to not be bothered by people. Now, this, of course, uh, uh, you know, you have to juxtapose this to to some of the lawful aspects of this. In a polite society, we're not supposed to steal from each other, and we shouldn't be robbing each other. We shouldn't be killing each other, and and those types of things. That is 
normal moral uh, uh, thought and behavior. That is what is built into us. That is what God gave us, you know, is that moral compass. Now, many people break that moral compass. You know, that, that's, that's a whole other subject there. And they're to be dealt with accordingly. But here we are. Here we are on these platforms and these little spy devices. I'm talking into one right now. Hello, NSA. Hello, everybody who's watching. Yeah, I'm saying that because there's too few of us that are saying it today. There's too few of us that are actively doing it. You can't hide. There's, you, you can't hide. There's no secret conversations. There is no, you know, you, you can't do it. Your, your anonymity is gone. There is no anonymity. You are known. They know who you are. They know where you are. They know what you do, who you associate with. So why not go ahead and get up and speak your mind and say who you are and say what you're about and stand for it? What do you got to lose at this point? They are destroying our country. They are destroying the world. They are destroying the system. They are doing it all to crumble all this down and to rebuild it into this beast system that has been in the works for eons. This is what the Bible talks about. This goes all the way back, guys. This is way beyond, you know, 10 years ago or, or 20 years ago or 100 years ago. This is a, we are seeing the culmination of Satan's efforts for all these years, Christian or not, whether you're watching, Christian or not, that's the truth. There is no denying that. That is the truth. You know, it, and if you read the book, most of us are gone anyway. Most of us are going to die. I mean, we're all, well, we're all going to die, but, you know, most of us are going to die through the process of, of their elimination efforts. And that's what it is, their elimination efforts. Everything that's done is being propped up against you to either enslave you or kill you. They will come one day. They will come one day. For you, for your family, are you going to go? Are you going to go along to a camp? Are you going to go along to a re-education camp? Are you going to go along to some gulag prison? Uh, are you going to let them kill you right there in your front yard? Uh, are you going to compromise? As for me and my house, absolutely not. We serve the Lord. I was told to come do this. I was told to do this channel and to share this message by God Almighty. That's why I'm doing this. I don't necessarily even want to do this. But it's not about me. It's about him and his message of salvation. It's about him and his message of looking out for the people that are lost in this world. For spreading the gospel. For speaking the truth. For calling out these liars and these evildoers for what they are and who they are. In every instance. And I call them out, every one of them in Washington, every one of them in Washington, and around the world. This is not about me. This is about God and his plan. This is about our salvation. This is about what happens to us in our eternal life, because this is but a flash in the pan. This right here, it doesn't mean anything in the grand scheme of things. So... You know, there is no stealthiness. There is no, there is no movement that we can do and create in the shadows and in the dark that one day we can implement, boom, you know, and take it back over. There's not. What we can do is stand up now, each and every one of us, and we will make a difference. People will watch. People will see. People will pay attention to what's going on. They will see the resolve in us. Those who do not have it, those who do not possess it, those who do not know the Lord will see the resolve in us who do. Who are the patriots? Where are the patriots? Where are we? Where are y'all? I'm sick of sugarcoating stuff. I'm sick of it. You know, I want to live a nice long life and enjoy my family and watch my child grow up. You know, and I pray that I get to do that. But I am not going to do it under their terms. I am not going to do it as a slave with no rights. I am not going to do it 
outside of being a human with rights that were given to me by God and protected by God and promised by God. I will not. I will not. With this, there is zero compromise. What about you? It's a question. I'm not telling you you should do anything or shouldn't do anything. It's a question for you to ask yourselves. Where do you stand? What is your line? Do you have a line? Or are you zero compromise when it comes to Christ and how he's asked us to live? What he's asked of us. The freedoms that, that were given to us by God. The liberties that were given to us by God. That our government is supposed to protect and uphold for us. And we are to control the government. We are to own the government. We are to say what they can and cannot do. But that's not what's happening. Not just here, but around the world. So ask yourself the question, where do you stand on it? I know my answer. Like I said, for me and my house, we serve the Lord. And that is to whatever end. That is to whatever end. Do you understand what it is I'm saying? Now, I'd like to close this video by showing you my girls. Since I'm down here by them. Hey, girls. Get some stuff together, folks, because you can, you can sustain yourself for a little while in this evil world, which gives you a chance to speak truth to more people. It's either that or you goose step your way right onto the bus and let that bus drive you right to the camp and you give it all away. Not me, baby. Not me. See you next time.